Hi everyone, in this quick tip we're going to be looking at the Split Object Surfaces tool. Now it might be that you have brought in a specific model into Keyshot and you need to add on different materials to a single part. So looking in the uh, scene tree itself, for example the outer casing of this camera is just one single part uh, within the model itself uh, and if I try to drag and drop kind of any material onto it, it would apply it to all the surfaces that make up that single part. Now within Keyshot itself, uh, there is a split objects tool that you can use. You'll be able to find this under the tools drop down menu. And if you can't see this button, just simply right click on that ribbon and then select to put the tick next to it so it is then visible. So opening up this tools button, within here I can see all the geometry tools that are available to me. And here is the split object surfaces. Now I currently have that outer casing selected in my scene tree, so when I click to say split object surfaces, it will automatically load the window with that part already in place. If I didn't have that part selected, a menu system would pop up and I could then select the part I want to split apart. Now just leaving things as a default, what I could show you is if I simply just click on one of the surfaces, it highlights in green, and this is the surface that will then get split away from the model. So if I wanted that surface, I could then say split surface and it will then break up this part into two separate surfaces. Now, if this was incorrect, what you can do also in this tool, rather than cancelling and starting again, is I can select both of those parts up and merge them so it's back into one whole part. Now, let's say I didn't want to have this chamfered edge around the top to be selected. I then have to play around with my splitting angle. So if I reduce that, to 30 degrees and then select that front surface again, you'll see that chamfered edge has disappeared. There are other ways of selecting the parts. You don't just have to click on the surface. Uh, here you can see different keyboard shortcuts for how you might select it. So for example, I could hold the shift key and drag a box over for selection. Or if I hold down the alt key, you can kind of brush some of the surfaces that you want to be highlighted. When I let go of the alt key, it will then pick up all the surfaces that match the splitting angle criteria and are linked to the surfaces that were selected. Once you're happy with your selection, click on the split surface button again and then you can then apply that to your model. You'll then see in your scene tree that that part has become a group which you can expand and there are now in this case two sections for that part. The materials are still linked so we'll have to select that top level part name, right click and unlink those materials. And then now I can apply separate materials to each part. This saves me having to go back to the original CAD model and make any tweaks within there, as it all can be done within Keyshot itself. Thank you for listening.